Good day, ma'am. At this juncture, we are going to present the topics that are assigned to our group, which is the Post-Impressionist. So, Post-Impressionism is an art movement that developed in the 1890s. It is characterized by a subjective approach to painting, as artists opted to evoke emotion rather than realism in their work. While their styles therefore widely varied, paintings complete in the post-impressionist manner share some similar qualities. These include symbolic motifs, a natural color, and painterly brush strokes. So post-impressionists extend impressionism while rejecting its limitations. They continued using vivid colors, often thick applications of paint, and real-life subject matter, but were more inclined to emphasize geometric forms, distort forms for expressive effects, and use a natural or arbitrary colors. The term post-impressionism was first used by English artists and critic Richard Fry in 1906 and then again in 1910 when he organized the exhibition Manet and the Post-Impressionist, which defined it as the development of French art since Manet, a key figure in Impressionist painting. The famous artists of Post-Impressionist are Paul Cézanne, Vincent van Gogh, Paul Gauguin, and George Spear Sorat. Cézanne is said to be the father of Post-Impressionism which is work he set out to restore a sense of order and structure to painting, and he achieved this by reducing objects to their most basic shapes with retaining the saturated colors of Impressionism. Van Gogh, the artist, proved to be a painter of rural life and nature, and he believed a power existed behind natural and sought to capture a sense of that magic in his art. And Gauguin, the artist's feelings about their subject, and the purity of the aesthetic considerations of life, color, and form. And Pierre Sorat, a French painter and draftsman, most known for his innovative use of drawing media and fan devising the techniques known as chromoluminarism, a style of painting involves separation of colors into individual dots. We have here our notable artworks for the post-impressionist. First, for the painting and drawing, we have The Scream, which was made on 1893 by Edward Munch. The Scream here, the protagonist's emotions are reflected throughout the surrounding scenery, which creates a symbolic plane for expression of internal being. Also, we have also the famous Starry Night. By Vincent van Gogh on 1889. He painted this in June from the view of his window on his room when he was staying at the asylum. Also for the sculpture, The Sleeping Muse 1910 by Constantin Bencusi. This sculpture is a bronze one. It was originally carved from marble. On architecture, we have the La Sagrada Familia, a Roman Catholic minor basilica in Spain by Gaudi in 1882. It is a part of the UNESCO World Heritage as of now. In literature, we have the E.M. Foster, A Passage to India. This talks about the Indian independence between the British Empire in 1920s. For music, we have The Firewood Suit by Stravinsky. And last for our photography, we have The Pond in the Moonlight by Edward Staken. This, photo this picture features a forest, a cr forest across a pond with a part of moonlight breaching to the forest. So those are the most notable artworks from the Post-Impressionist. Thank you.